What is up everyone? It is our third video here in Dubai and today is the Offset Car Show. The reason why we're here, me and Randy are here to be judges, which is really freaking cool. And uh, well, before the show starts, we're gonna poke around, check out a few cars out. I'm not gonna do the whole video on this uh, because it's gonna be such a busy day, but I definitely wanna show off some of the cool cars here in the UAE. Let's get to it. Enough of the B-roll because there's way more cars up there, but I just have to make a few comments all here. Uh, we're just kind of walking our way up because it's actually in like a parking garage, which is really cool. And at the top of it, there's a stage where there's a music performer, which is insane. We're two floors down right now, so it just keeps on going up and around. The first thing I see is kind of, uh, well, first off, the Koki. Love that. Kooky, Koki. Good styling. Love to see it. It's camber gang fitment, but I'm about it. First thing we see is one, there's a really good array of cars. It's not like the same car over and over again. Like, there's literally one of everything. I don't know if they planned it out like that, but that's what it's like right here. It's funny to see the American influence all the way out here. Like, just like the, having the clean culture banner is super, super cool to see. As you guys know, clean culture is one of the largest, largest automotive uh, event hosts in America. We will actually be doing a couple events with them this year that we're partnering up with. So, stay tuned for those dates. But. Even stuff like seeing a society banner out here is really, really cool. Even coming out here and seeing a Mark II is really freaking cool. You get a little bit of literally everything. Right hand drive too. Mm hmm. Funny. Wow. Bagged out R34 GTR. Love to see it. White R33 GTR. It's on the list. You guys know that. It's on. It just hits, right? Mm. Plenty of big body action for the boys, and of course, I have to show it off. The E36 is absolutely immaculate. It is so beautiful. Like, it's a typical recipe, right? E36, full M, LTW spoiler. It's just the combo. It always works, it always looks beautiful. I don't know what color code this is, but it looks so good on this car. Everything is fresh, and of course, it's left hand drive since we're here in Dubai, and it's got all the right bits inside of it. Good fitment, too is not easy on a stock body E36. Damn, that is a gangster SC300. They have the vendors coming in, which is super, super cool to see. They're gonna have some pretty cool stuff here. Oh man, we keep getting more and more. So this car is right-hand drive and it is registered, but like we said before, they couldn't, they can't legally register right-hand drive cars unless they're 30 years old or older, so. Old car, right hand drive, legal. Chaser is such a cool color. It's like weird to see a chaser not in that really dark green, white, or, or, or silver, right? So good. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> What up, guys? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, more R34s, and of course, Dubai Reg. So this thing is left-hand drive. Evo. Dude, they got everything here. And of course, the E30 we love so much. This color is so good. Beautiful. I want it. The gold BBS. So good. Oh, there it is. This is the first, <laughs> we've been in Dubai for like three days and this is the first like super car that we've even, we've even been really like near. At least modified one. That's so funny because I think that's exactly what we were all expecting to see throughout these videos is just like Lamborghinis, Ferraris, McLarens, everything everywhere. But now nah, we've been in the car culture side of it. We've been seeing the 90s, the 80s, the 2000s, just like GDM and German cars. So it's funny to see this. There's such an array of cars here, it's wild, but like, 
The thing that gets me is a lot of these are US cars. I wonder if this is how Japan feels because like <laughs> Japan gets picked of all their good cars. Like you have all these countries just trying to rob them of all their cool cars. And like, I'm feeling a little defensive here. This is a, this is a uh, USDM car right here. The, the fact that this car could have just been from New Hampshire and just shipped off to Dubai is like the funniest, the funniest concept to me. This could have been like a grandmother's. Yeah, this was someone's auntie in Maine. Now it's in Dubai, looking hot. S15 SR drivetrain in it. Randy noticed this, I didn't even notice this. I think it was too overstimmed by walking in initially. So this is a JDM Koki bumper with a USDM Koki front lip. I've never seen that before in my life. I'm impressed, you noticed that, I'm impressed. No, it's, you're too tall, bro. Look, if the camera's up here, like you can't see the lip, see that? Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> and it actually lines up not, not too bad. I mean, it probably helps that it's black on black, but I'm also really impressed that like this edge lines up pretty good with the center. I have never seen that before. It's really cool. I wonder how it would look if it wasn't aired out. You know what I mean? I wonder if it would still look cool. Yeah. It's funny, you, you gotta be on your knees to get that low, and all we gotta do is do this. That's it. I'm just like, <laughs> Stop. Stop. 2023. Stop. Or these are like tramp stamps. They're just like stained from past. Yeah, from, the past. from the past. They're just still there. <laughs> like, he's not even using them. No, could these. I bet he put these on years ago. Yeah. And, it, and yeah. So, damn. These are the tramp stamp of. I'd rather take them off and have a hole. I think so too. Yeah. yeah. Stop. <laughs> no more. But this car is perfect. You killed it. Uh, we have come into Godzilla's den here with all the GTRs. All of them. Oh, the red 33. I feel like all you see is white ones, which is something I love white, white ones, but in red, it just hits so much harder. <laughs> I think the theme of this trip is more red cars. Wow, they have some really, 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 really cool builds there. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> One of those. Oh, it's so beautiful with the white gut. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful with the turbo wing. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, it's a real turbo. Oh, super cool. The fact that there are so many amazing builds here, and there's only one supercar in the whole lot. I love that. Dubai, UAE. Nice work. Dave, how do you film these videos? Because I think every clip of mine has been like, oh, fuck, this look is at so that, good. Look at this. This is so good. King of the look at that, look at this. Yes, exactly. Um, the problem with shows like this is, usually you go to a show and you go, I'm going to show three or four cars that yeah. are interesting to me. There's a lot of interesting here. They are all interesting. And then the fact that, remember, that none of this existed three days ago, all of this graffiti. All the graffiti was done in the last All for the show. We were walking it last night and we were like, no way they just did all this graffiti. That's yep. so And cool. they got to paint it all again. Uh, yeah. just to what? Yeah, so all of this will just be painted over on Monday. Oh my god. It, if you guys have probably been seeing it in the background, but the graffiti, it will walk up and so much more of it is amazing. Like this, like, it, I mean, it makes, that whole shot just looks amazing. They gotta paint over all that. Have you gone all the way up to the top? It's We're getting there. Man, you know when you put a car meet together at a show and you go, oh, great show, bro. Yeah. This is gonna shit on everybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> I cannot wait to see the actual true car features here because the aesthetic is gonna be unreal. And especially when the music starts going and the lights later. Yeah, there we go. Go check up around the corner. Some new cars are all this nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just a couple guys with some cans. What's Steph's favorite? How are they gonna paint over all of this? It's a shame. <laughs> so we saw this car last night. Just a white NSX bag on wheels. It is just such a beauty. And this was whose car before him? This was Sultan's before, yeah. Now it's Sam's. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Yellow car appreciation, fully molded wide body. This thing is thick. Absolutely bonkers how wide this thing is. And look at it, absolutely seamless. <laughs> 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 Who gave you that? That's a liability. My heart is pounding from how fast this is. You have to try it. Do a dig. No, no like li literally, Launch bro. From a dig. Like, like literally, barely tap this and just don't drop it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> There's no. Oh! Oh! I wasn't kidding. I think it's so fast. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's gonna eat it. Right next to the Aston Martin. Okay. There is no partial throttle. There's no. It literally just goes. It just goes. I told you, bro. They had me do it next to the 34s, and I was literally just, my heart was pounding. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Here, I'll get you started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. 
He's definitely crashing that thing by the end of the day. <laughs> My pride and joy. Soul Times Aston Martin drift car. Two videos ago, I actually got to drive this thing. I just drove in a straight line, but this literally made me sit there and go, maybe I could build one of these things. Like maybe I should, you know? Like that's how much I love this car. Wild. Sultan is a big LS guy, so of course, twin turbo LS. <laughs> and like this car is so good. Like everything was so calculated. So down to the weight balance, they were picking where they put every little accessories to make sure this car was perfectly balanced. Everything is dry carbon. It is nuts, absolutely nuts. We were here after driving it. I was like dreaming all night. I'm on my phone like trying to price out how I can get one of these things. Because at the end of the day, realistically, the only thing that is Aston Martin is the bare shell itself. Sultan makes this whole entire whole entire kit. Everything up front, he did a Mark IV Super subframe with Mark IV Super Wise Hub, I believe. Nuts. Of course, the drivetrain is completely custom. The interior, I mean, at the end of the day, what is stock? The only thing that's weird about this entire car is the fact that it's an aluminum chassis. So when you talk about modifying the chassis itself, right, it's not just steel, you just can't weld steel to it. The cage itself, has to be a little over the top and it has to actually bolt into the chassis since you can't weld the steel bars straight to the aluminum chassis, right? So check this thing out. So it is very strategically made so it can kind of all bolt together and still be legal and safe. This could be me. It will be. I don't know, I gotta... This is a lot. Who has a blown up Aston Martin or a flooded car that they'll sell for, for cheap? There we go. Well. 2023, I need to work harder. And then what's super dope is the fact that you walk up here and boom, there's a stage and a bar at the, to at the top of the car park. With all the new graffiti, the vibes are immaculate. All right, Jimmy, but so this, you get to pick, right? This is the hard part. Out of all those cars, and you guys probably only saw half of them, I have to decide the best in show and the top five and all that stuff. So it's gonna be very hard. But guys, that is a small taste of the UAE car scene here. Absolutely unreal. And that is only a small fraction. And I'm happy that we didn't see a bunch of supercars because this is way freaking cooler. <laughs> this is something I do on my S chassis. That would be dope. What, the sparkle paint? Yeah. Hot boy flakes. So this is just pre-show. So when all the vendors come in and the lights go down later, the music starts cranking, the lights are everywhere, it's gonna be absolutely mad. What an experience. But hope you guys enjoyed the quick shots and some of just the ooh-ah moments I've had of the cars. I'd love to break them all down, but it would take way too long and we got work to do. So for now, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. There it is. Small track, but it should be fun. What do you think? Oh, I'm ready. Tire walls getting destroyed. Is that the go kart track too, technically? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, boys. Next day, um, it's the day after the offset um, car show. Uh, we didn't. I didn't film at it at all, actually, because we were running around so much. I really wish I did because to capture the vibe that we had, um, it was just amazing. And I'm upset I didn't get it. But Randy got quite a few clips from it. So if you guys want to check out the vibe that the offset show had, uh, link in the description. If you don't already watch Eliminate somehow. Today is a special day. Today is drift competition day. We are here in Dubai in a drift cop. Yep. You know that? Uh, 
now I do. This is my first comp, so <laughs> get ready. It's so random. This just happened to line, which is really, really cool. So this is a grassroots competition. This will be more fun in a sense of it won't be very like high stakes, stressful, or nothing or other. It's just, it's a stock car class. So I don't know what that means because we see a couple cars here and they're not very stock. Small cart track. It should be good. It'll be interesting. Um, getting to compete in a different country is always super gangster. So I'm debating if I should hit the tire wall first or if I just, just total you so that I can continue drifting. And oh yeah, is that your, yeah, just back it in? Yeah. Brady from Lemony totals my car. Or, yep. This is what he meant by Asian driver, no survivor. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> real quick, let's go check out some of the cars that are here in the track and see what we got going on today. What we see here is a lot of Zs. We anticipated a lot of Zs. Yep. So uh, one thing I do see here, though, is we have this E92, but it doesn't look very stock to me. Oh, it's not stock for sure. Look at this thing. This thing is wild. I guess this is one of like the really good guys here, so I'm excited to see how, um, how they drive. I mean, maybe it's stock in a sense of like the drivetrain might be completely stock. Mm. That might do it. Yeah, I wonder what's under the hood. Oh, we can find out right here. Intercooler? Delete? <laughs> how are you? Hi. Welcome to the drift home. Mm, I'm sorry, my hand's a little Zach, bit how are you? I'm good. Nice to meet you. you. Well, thank you for having yeah, us. Yeah, thanks for having us. So, what uh, is the more than pleasure actually. the class limitation for today's drift event? As just, far as you don't have an engine swap, and if your engine, you keep the aspiration that comes on the engine. And then so stock in injectors for turbo cars. For okay. Oh, okay. All right. So stock injectors for turbo cars. And is there a tire size limit? Two sixty-five. Okay. It's a proper, it's got. a proper comp then. Mm -hmm. Two forty treadwear. Okay. You will see some Valinos here. Mm, that's what we that's got. That's us. That's us. <laughs> they're they're OADs. They're not C's or R's. Okay. It's fair. It's uh, basically as stock as it can get. Yeah, it's cool. Z, Z, Brandy, <laughs> and then a bunch of Z's and a Mustang. That's pretty cool. But if this is original yellow three seventy. That's cool. Our cars for today. You guys saw them in two videos ago. Randy will be driving a three fifty Z right here and I will be driving Sultan's 370Z. This is awesome. Perfect cars for the event, couldn't be happier. The only hard part about these cars? No bucket seats. No bucket seats. Yep. These have slightly more bolster seats than the average car, so hopefully that holds up. And I'm big, so maybe I'll just wedge in there. I am, I am a little bit nervous about that. Mm. Yours aren't as good as mine. Yeah, yours have crazy big bolsters. We should get some um, ratchet straps and just yeah, like and strap. strap you into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got the Mustang, because he's a big Mustang guy. And then Sultan will be driving this E36. I love your chair. Do you love my throne? We'll Prop yes, definitely a throne. Fit for a queen. Right here. <laughs> so my game plan for the day is I'm just going for Jimmy. I'm trying to give him the best clickbait title of it all. Big white man bullies young Asian boy. Asian boy couldn't take it anymore. Destroys his walls. Austin, leave that in, all right? Do some like effects. Make me taller than Jimmy. Austin, edit me taller than Jimmy. <laughs> in the tallest building in the world. To Jurassic Park. Imagine that means he just stretches my legs with PNG. <laughs> this should be fun. It's tight, but it works. You ready? I'm always ready, or not. <laughs> All right, so we just went out and saw the first couple practice laps, and there's some pretty good guys here. Yeah, they're actually pretty good. And all the guys drive here religiously, so. Yeah. So uh, I guess those guys are. Well, one of them's a pro. It Keep just... him away from me. Okay, it feels a little weird, but I'll get used to it. It's so comical how, like, every drift event, you know, four or five years later, the first time. The first time you go out, you feel like you've completely forgot how to drift. Like I'm sitting here like, do I even know how to drift? Like, what do I do? Uh, and like, you have to get through the first lap and it all goes away. But I, I hope one day this changes because I don't know. <laughs> all right, first lap, I don't know where the hell I'm going. Let's just play it really conservative. I can't even see where the entry is. All right. where the spin point is. Oh, I really thought I had more angle than that. 
Okay, I saw the track more that time. It was better, it was better. All right, so I should have checked this first, but the Z has very, very, very little angle. Quite a bit less than I anticipated, which is fine. Good save! The Z just died on me. That, I wish I could say that was, oh, yeah, there we go, you can see. Oh, okay, not me. Damn, Dave, good save. Dave is the king of avoiding accidents, I swear. So what happened to the Z? It got really hot. Yeah, it's been hot all day, but it finally got way too hot. Way too much. So. So. We're good. Now what? So the car went into lit mode and shut off. Dave killed it by avoiding Oh that. my God, the footage of that. It literally looks like Dave hit him, but he didn't. Dave's really good at avo avoiding accidents, but uh, you could tell it was running hot before because like I, it was having a hard time just getting around the big sweeper, and I was like, this is a 370Z. These things move, so it was definitely down on power from the heat earlier, but uh, the boys getting in there, uh, get it fixed to get a qualifying run in, and luckily we don't have to qualify high because no matter what I get, I, I could double zero. No, I could double zero and I'm still ready to go. It's more for brackets so, um, and bragging rights, right? So. so I don't think I've ever been to a drift event where either of these, let alone both of these are at, in the parking lot. You don't have this uh, amateur drift events in the US, no? Just Rolls Royce Cullinans and Bentley. Oh, my, my buddy, yeah, my buddy buddy has a couple, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I, it's funny how your car is probably worth the emblem on that car, if you think about it. And he just arrived in the 350s. <laughs> <laughs> First qualifying. I just want to find the track, I'll be happy. Keep it modest, nice and easy. I would say that was pretty good. I would say that was pretty good. Really good. Perfect line. Missed one clip on the whole track. Boy, Jimmy. It was really good. I'm very impressed. That car is down about 700 horsepower, so he had to kick the shit out of it. But good. Good solid run. Guess I missed the second inner clip. I didn't realize it. I, I like He told me, and I was like, no way I missed it. You're I too did. busy steaming around. <laughs> doing good stuff. Out of zones mint, though. Like, the whole first section is so smooth and like that's what I know the judging style here because it's actually the judging style that I created like eight years ago. <laughs> so line is everything. Yes. So what they're looking for here is good lead runs, not mm -hmm. big flashy stuff. Exactly. And very few people are doing the correct line. Your line was perfect. All you gotta do is tidy that one little inner zone up mm -hmm. and that's like an 80 plus yes. run. That style, if you can keep doing that in your lead runs all day, it's very, very hard for anyone to criticize you because it's so smooth and perfect. Yes, and I, I was close to the wall. I hit some tires, I thought it was kind of sick. But it didn't upset the car, so it was fine. It just looked cool. Love that. I think I'm more stressed for this one than the first one. I'll get my anxiety under control one day, guys. One day. Good. 
the long sweep i kind of let the car chug a little bit so i wasn't as in angle and far out as i wanted to be but whatever i'll take it that's the one in the show got the zone he didn't get the first time even better run two thumbs up from this guy you did say like a 70 point run for me and then i definitely think the last one was up and over way over 80s like Hell it was yeah. all the clips so i think you could have qualified me here. I think your run was cleaner than mine. Although I'm only looking at it from the inside of the mm -hmm. car. I think your second run was as good as a 370Z could do the track. That means a lot. Thank so, you. and the fact that I created the judging system that they're using <laughs> here today. <laughs> I don't know anything. These events are always a mystery and then you get to the briefing, you'll find out where you Perfect. So you've got that nice little, as they call out the numbers, you're hoping that you're in it? Yes. But you'll be in it. We'll you're be, good. We'll be good. good. But more importantly, Sultan, did I make you proud? Oh, 100%. That's, that's all that matters. <laughs> I also want to make this statement. So the guys are filling up their cars with gas right now. We thought they were putting 110 in the car. We thought we had they were putting race fuel in our cars. It's just pump gas. Isn't that wild? It's just pump gas? It's just, you smell that though, right? Yeah, I do smell it, yeah. I thought, I was like, oh, we're getting 110 in this bitch. You're like, no, that's just straight high octane from the from the pump. That's crazy. So what is it? They, this is from the source, dude. Just by the smell alone, I can tell this gas is a hell of a lot better. Yeah. I'm gonna take some of that home with me. Which way does is this happening right left? now? Right or left? Oh my God, guys. All right, this is something we've been talking about since we got here. What is the most Arab experience in a vehicle you could ever think of? I'm so excited for this. I don't even get it. Can, 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 anything, can you do anything more Arab in a vehicle? No. No? No. Before I say what we're doing, look at these tires. We <laughs> talked about it, he ran over, he got it, and I guess we're gonna go do it, so. There's no such thing as sidewall. Nothing. No. No, don't look at the tire only. Look here. Oh my God. Oh my, all right. Hen, <laughs> foreshadow. I heard you're the guy. Uh, I wish we don't make an accident today. Make for a good clickbait. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind. What's the best seat to be in? Probably front. All right, front it is. No. The most scary seat is the front right. Yeah. The front right? The most scary seat. And the roller coaster you sit in the front. Put Steph in the front right there. Okay. Yeah. Go in the front. <laughs> he is going to fucking cry. We're going sideways on two wheels in this thing. I probably could have made a whole video just on this thing. But, uh, oh man. Take it in, boys. It's about to get wild. I heard this is the most dramatic seat, but Steph's got the scariest. <laughs> All right, so there is a roll cage in here, Steph. Um, I'm, I'm impressed so that you're very, you're actually gonna do this. Say that I'm literally going to be on the ground. Yeah, you're in the scariest position. They said. <laughs> oh, you have to wear a helmet. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only one with a helmet. Okay, so brace myself like this. Yeah, yeah. What about me? With the, the, you relax. I, no, and how you should relax. Okay. Oh God. Because you will be down. We're gonna be fucking do All right, hold on. It's the safest motorsport. He said this is the safest oh, yeah. motorsport. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You need to say that yes, for my Yes, we have that right here documented. So safest, mo uh, safest motorsport. Oh, God. I was gonna start the video. <laughs> All right, I love this. You ready? This is something that a lot of people don't get to do. People this is so this. cool. This is like a bucket list thing. Yeah, on the track. Yes. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, my God. You ready? Brace yourself. Oh, shit handle. Hey, don't put yeah, your hand on the He's warming the tires up. What kind of vehicle is this? Land Cruiser V6. <laughs> Sold. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Already! This is level. Oh my god! This is what he's doing the drift track. Clipping point for you guys to know. Yeah. <laughs> this is like extra for you guys. <laughs> Look at him go in the zone. We are hitting the go kart track. Oh my god, Jimmy, this is so funny, dude. Oh my, my god, he's at like a dead still right now. You 
want I'm... me to stop, stop? No, this is great. This is you can stop, stop. Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that was incredible! That was so freaking cool! Again? Do you want me to stop, stop? Alright, look how graceful this is. Dude! You ready? I'll leave the camera. Jimmy! Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, let's do the thing where we trade cameras. Yep. Oh my god. Look, this is insane. This is crazy. Steph, how are you feeling? My right butt cheek yeah. is so clenched. Yeah, I want to tell you something. I think your door is open. I think. Which one? Your door. Oh my god! <laughs> you gotta step your doors open, don't lean on it. <laughs> the cone, look at the cone! <laughs> this should be a ride at Disneyland, bro. Hop on the freeway, bring us bring us back to the hotel. My mom is gonna kill me. <laughs> she told me not to do stuff like this. No, you know what? Oh, that was so smooth. That was wild. Wow. Thank that you, man. Was... Can I try? <laughs> I don't even know what to think right now. That was so smooth. I know the pro he do we get we need to go with someone sketchier because he no. was too good at it. Yo, yeah, I'm you good. are you a pro? Uh I'm a bro only. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what a good answer. We have to convince Sultan to let us use the Bentley. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Ooh. It does. Convince him. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, now that we're all shook up from that, uh, it is time for the driver's briefing to see the, uh, the the place standing for qualifying. Secretly, all we want to know is who qualified higher, me or you. Like it's our own little comp here. Okay, I guess it is. I think we both looking over our shoulders, going, we're both outsiders. Just casually. <laughs> Just casually. <laughs> oh, sorry. Dave, you beat me. You beat me. You got fifth, I got ninth. That's good. Yes, all right. Good. I qualified ninth. I'm not not upset with that. Not upset with that. Not you, you qualified? I am last place. 23rd place right here. You're in. That's it. No way. We're all in. We're all in. We're all in. Sick. All right, so my second run was only one point higher than my first, which I thought it would be a decent amount higher, to be honest, uh, especially with Dave's uh, approval on that one, but so be it. Can't be upset. We're in the battle, so. Uh, let's see who we're up against and let's start the battles. All right, I was a little bummed about ninth, but I get a bye run. I, I was thinking because he didn't make it to qualify. Yeah, yeah, so I can't complain. Top 16. In the game? In the game. <laughs> probably against Easy. you right now for, oh, probably. That would be funny. Be good though. It would, it would be good, yes. It's okay. getting nice and dark there, so. I know, my depth perception at night, awful. I need glasses. All right, don't be anxious. I'm super anxious. Why will, Why am I always so anxious? It makes me so tight and very like noodle armed. <laughs> Surprised his car was running away from mine. Like in drift, he was gaining speed, which honestly I'm surprised because this car, it's not the slowest thing here. He straightened out twice, which means he double zeroed. So um, if I just do a half decent lead line, oh, the TPS on this thing, uh, then I'll get the win. So I just gotta make sure I don't psych myself out by being too anxious and overdriving like I usually do, and we'll be good live from Dubai. Jimmy up next with the lead run. Let's see how well he does. So if he wins this, are you giving it to him tonight or am I giving it to him tonight? <laughs> <laughs>
a hard time finding the zones. I, there was one point I didn't know where I was on track. It gets dark in the corner. Thank you. Won the battle. Hell yeah, top eight, baby. We so done so happy. That makes me so happy. <laughs> hey! Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Awesome, Top eight battle is against one of the uh, big dogs here, one of the higher the higher point runners in the championship. All right, I'm in ch the chase first, per usual. It is nice when you go to like new comps, you have no points, so you end up always being the chase first, which I like. I like being the chase first. God, it's so dark. I think I really need to go just get some damn glasses. <laughs> All right, don't psych myself out and go into crazy angle. Keep it good. Don't choke myself up. I don't think his car is fast, so. sloppy on my part I did some good things and I kind of panicked in the middle for some reason you know you try to like justify it but then you're just so anxious and so much is happening that like especially in a new car and stuff that like everything just goes to instinct sometimes or you just make a dumb split-second decision and afterwards you're like man I would have never done that like that was like I did some weird things I probably would have never done just in a casual tandem, but dude, I get so anxious. It's, I can barely talk to you. Like, oh no, I just gotta do a good lead. Do a good lead. Damn, he was on me. Nice work. You were on me, bro. That was sick. He was more consistent on me, that's for sure. Nice. Rightfully earned. Rightfully earned. Sultan's happy. See, that's all I care about. <laughs> I, that was good because that was truly like I felt the cars were very balanced. I made some weird moves that I, you know, I'm gonna watch the footage and yell at myself for doing. I don't know why I did them. It's not my new normal move, but like I said, in these high stake moments, it's just. Bro, you looked amazing out there. Yeah. It was so close, dude. You almost had him. Yeah. Thank you. Bro, I'm so fucking proud of you. <laughs> that, that means was the so world, sick, dude. Bro. Proud of you, buddy. Yeah. That was the best chase run I've ever seen you do. That was unbelievable. Yeah, I appreciate that. You were so aggressive, that. bro. You were fucking just on his shit. <laughs> Couple then, of stops, but we were there. But like, you were just unlucky to come up against someone that was shit hot too. Yeah. Oh, they're yelling at me. Yes. I did some weird shit that I couldn't explain. And you guys can yell at me in the comments all you want, but trust me, I'm my biggest critic. And uh, I'm learning. I'll get better each time. And one day, I'll make you all proud. Great job. Yeah? Sick job. Sick job. Honestly. Thank very, you. Very good. Thank you. Sick sick job, bro. Thank sick you. Thank you. That was awesome. I was driving. I'm, I see you. I'm like, yeah, get it, bro. Sick job. Sick job.
You're lucky you didn't go against me. Thank you. I would have lost harder. That was a great one. Thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, Lucas. That was cool. Number one, huh? You better win now. That was. Good. 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 I did some weird things. I was like, why the hell did I just do that? You know, when you're like freaking out. Yeah. But um, and it's different at night, right? It's very hard to see what the hell's going yeah. on. I'm staring at taillights. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are used to drifting in the dark. We're not. We're, not. <laughs> <laughs> We're like I should have took the glasses. I probably could have used those things. <laughs> That was, that was wild. sick. That was, that was really you cool. You know what? We, we both got knocked out in the top 16 and we both had uh, smiles on faces. So that goes to show it's a fun event. Oh, it, it is, is. exactly. Fun no event. complaints. Like, no so. complaints from either oh, side. We good. borrowed cars, did so much driving, had so much fun. I'm so proud of him. I was watching and I was like, that's Jimmy. Dude, that was your best driving all day, oh, bro. I had the initiation was sweet. Good. 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 From this side, like you were diving in and I can see you work the foot brakes, the hand brake. I was like, holy oh, shit. You know, it's funny that you went all the way to the Middle East to get beat by the French. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just saying. You know what? You couldn't write it. You couldn't write it. No. This is amazing. <laughs> I want to send a picture. I have such cool now. friends, you know? You can't be the one friend that's the worst driver. Yeah. And that's me right now, the worst driver. But I'm coming. All right, boys. Well, today was wild. Um, I mean, so much has happened. Uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna even do my recap, but it was absolutely amazing. I just have to say a huge shout out to everyone who made this happen. A huge shout out to Sultan for making <laughs> most of this happen and being the most amazing host ever. Um, from the Offset Car Show to drifting here, and this was like a little bonus side mission here. And um, you know, I, of course, as always, I do wish I drove a little bit better, but for given my uh, constraints and everything, I'm happy with myself. Um, I know I have more in me, trust me, I know I'm better than this, and I'm gonna prove it to you guys. Just give me some time, uh, I never, oh, that's, they're gonna hit that car. Uh, I've ne I'll never, I've never call myself the best drifter, or even a really good drifter, but I'm getting there each event at a time, and uh, I'll make you guys proud. But I'll tell you what, I had so much fun today, to be able to come here, once again, I keep saying this, to another country, compete with people, you know, it's the same thing, but it all has a different feel, all has a different twist. And the, uh, the times and the relationship you meet with people, I can't even speak, uh, is just unmatched. So um, this will probably be my last video in the UAE. And uh, I will definitely be coming back. I definitely did not have enough time to be here. Um, but from now, we have to fly to Ireland. And we'll have a week there. We have some pretty cool stuff plans. We have a bash. So March 11th and 12th at Mondello Park. Uh, we had the bash. I'll put the link in the description for the tickets. Um, but for now, uh, I'm gonna end it. Randy, you wanna help me end this real quick? Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And Sultan? Good night. <laughs> perfect. Oh, perfect. <laughs> you know why it's called Dubai? <laughs> Dubai. <laughs>